The DeSantis campaign is betting big on Iowa and tonight has the backing of the state's popular governor. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds is endorsing her Florida counterpart this evening at a rally in Des Moines. The move doesn't come out of nowhere. The pair have attended several events in the Hawkeye State together. CBS News political reporter Aaron Navarro has been following the DeSantis campaign and joins us now from Des Moines. Hi, Aaron. Uh, so DeSantis's numbers in Iowa, like the rest of the country, have stalled. Does his campaign think that this particular endorsement could be a game changer? Nancy, thanks for having me. In short, yes. This is a campaign that has anchored itself in Iowa. They've embarked on what they call the full Grassley, a tour of all 99 counties here. They're about 83, I believe, or 87 uh, on the way there. And they really believe that Reynolds will help them close the gap with Trump and also just shield off any of these other candidates in the race, including Nikki Haley. I talked to one Iowa state rep who was a former advisor in Reynolds' office, Taylor Collins, about this endorsement. Take a listen to what he had to tell me about the impact. It's going to make a significant impact on this race. I mean, we're talking about a very popular governor here in Iowa. Iowans love Kim Reynolds. And if you look at the caucus scores, likely caucus scores, 90 percent of those Republicans are supportive of Kim Reynolds. So I think this is going to really shake up the race and really be a good night for Ron DeSantis. Now, from talking to strategists on other campaigns, the question they had is they think it will maybe be a little bit of a boost for DeSantis in Iowa, but will it be enough to kind of close this 20, at some points, 30-point gap between himself and former President Trump? And it is notable that any governor is endorsing someone other than Trump. It's something that governors have been reluctant to do throughout this cycle. Aaron, I know you spoke with Iowa voters this afternoon. What did they have to say about this? So, in fact, a good amount of the voters I talked to in Des Moines were Democrats, but they didn't think that it would make an impact that much on this race. They are fully expecting um, for former President Trump to have the Republican nomination. Now, what was interesting when I talked to them about the 2024 race was what they said about President Biden. As you know, there's been a couple polls showing that his support for Democrats has eroded a bit. Take a listen to what they had to tell me about President Biden and his chances of beating Trump in a potential rematch. I was hopeful maybe we weren't going to have to reapproach having Trump be in a highly elected office. I am going to watch the Republican debate on Wednesday, so curious to see what that ends up looking like. If Mr. Trump uh, becomes the nominee for the Republican Party, uh, I will definitely vote for Mr. Biden. And even though I would probably still vote for Biden, yeah, I would not do it very enthusiastically. Um, and the Trump, you know, with all the indictments, with all the you know, cases against him, is, I think makes it even more problematical. Part of DeSantis' argument against Trump is that he will be more electable than Trump in the general election. But given the polls that we've seen showing Trump leading Biden marginally, I'm curious to see with voters in the coming months if that argument still resonates. So interesting that those voters you spoke to seem to have completely jumped ahead of the GOP contest. They are already looking at what they assume will be the general election right. matchup. Aaron Navarro in Des Moines, thanks so much.